Good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome back to our election specials. Uh, tonight we're doing another one. Uh, it's quite a fun one, I think. Uh, it's going to be <laughs> UKIP. Yes. Uh, I know Matt's a fan, I've heard. So. I love the UK. <laughs> so Matt... I love independent music and I love parties. No, no, no. The, 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 that's, not, that's not them. Oh. No, that's, okay. they, they, that is their name, but that's not. Oh, that's not right, indie okay. music. Or... This could be interesting. Though. Okay, right. well, you might have the wrong one. So let's. Would you vote for them? And I mean the UKIP that are going to the, the UKIP. To the Nigel polls. Frogface Farage. That's it. Yeah, you do know that. Um, no, not even slightly. It is without doubt the most horrific excuse for a political party I have ever seen. And if you all think that. Yay! They 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 stand up for the the underdog. They are against the system. There are the f-ing system. They're all bankers. Hundred percent of their MPs were privately educated. Granted, they've only got two, but still, that's still a stat. It's still a f-ing fact. Mm. They're f-ing. so yeah. What do you think of him? He is right. He was born for politics because mm. he looks like he should be in spitting image without them having to do anything to There's his a face. Wobbly, uh... He's got, like, no chin. He's got teeth going out on all different angles. A man that's fighting to get rid of the NHS has terrible teeth. Surely him above everyone would require them. Also, he's a guy that apparently had cancer that got fixed by the NHS, yet he wants to get rid of it. No doubt. Now, this is just me speculating. The doctor that did it was an immigrant. Just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not a fact. That's no. just me. I've got to say, I mean, they are the... We're talking about the Conservatives in one of our other specials, but... They are the top end of the middle class rich people that feel discontented with the Tories because they're not doing enough for the middle class yeah. riches. And that's what they are. Basically, they are rebelling against that. The guys that want to be racist and immigration and NHS. Oh, no, no, they're, they're not racist, though. They're just oh, proud no. to be British. Yeah, don't sue us. They're proud mm. to be British. Racists. Okay, all right, let's do some of their manifestos then. Right, uh, this could be fun. This is going to be... I'd love, I've got to do the top one first and foremost. We all know what it is, but the top of their manifesto mm-hmm. is... Uh, Britain basically makes about 100 billion a year from being a partner of it but they're gonna leave the eu what do you mean that oh, that sounds like a genius idea it i does. mean i hate being part of europe uh, eurovision we never win it so what's the point uh, all the infrastructure that europe's helped build in this country what's the point we don't need roads or social mm. renewal contracts and the whole immigrant labor thing coming from europe i don't need my streets cleaning what about the fact that we i can go now if i want i'm going to live in spain tomorrow you italy can, if i want germany claim, claim i can claim benefits. benefits i can go to their hospitals you can oh, I, they'll take that away from me would they i'll be well gutted <laughs> let alone anything else well, what about all them poor pensioners in spain yeah they'll be screwed Damn. i've got i've got another great one that's another favorite of mine uh, you know despite the fact that we can all watch internet porn on the internet now and watch sex all day long kids, <laughs> is that kids, what you're doing kids, on that no, let me just say because kids don't know how to use tablets in there do they but what they're going to do to stop teenage pregnancy is they're going to abolish sex education in primary schools how is that a good idea <laughs> Well, because, you know, it's all about the birds and the bees and there's the stork delivers the baby. They need to be taught this to kids. They don't need to be get rid of it. Well, yeah, but no, it's it's wrong. You can't teach kids about sex because it's a natural human function. Kids are going to be, have to, it's part of life. Uh, what about this one as well? There's no tuition fees if you do a good degree. Yeah, I mean, this is ridiculous. If you do science, engineering, maths, or what's called the STEM subjects, then... You won't have to pay tuition fees, but if you want to, I don't know, become an artist or a, a political thinker, do sociology, maybe one of those ones that looks at politics and say how shit it is, then you'll have to pay the nine grand and mm. deal with it. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. And, and another one for the uh, right wingers, they're going to cut nine billion of foreign aid. Oh, yeah. Cause... You know, there's only just at the moment, how many people died in the sea in Italy? Uh, 900, they reckon. No, well, you know, be. they're running away from war. Yeah, help the world, Jesus. It's what's what we're gonna live in our little house with all our money and shut the door. I no, think... come on. <laughs> the, the problem as well, still, is if you look at the people that we're voting for. You know, the Ed Miliband, we know he's a bit of a tosser. David Tamron is a tosser. David Tamron, Nigel Farage, is a... <laughs> Tamron, Nigel Farage. As much as he's got a wobbly neck and looks like a spitting image, he's like not any worse than them. As people, you think I know he's a tosser, but when you look at the three of them, if you're voting just on people. You can see, you know, and then he stands up to some people and says, I'm going to get rid of immigration and all that. Well, he is getting people that are just maybe a bit silly to vote for him. Yeah. Sadly. Well, I look at it this way. Which one would I like to have leering over me while having sex with me? And out of all three of those faces, I've got to say, um, none. Nick Clegg. 